Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I am making lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If you are new to this channel and not yet subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my upcoming videos. In this video, let us see overview of this course. What are the prerequisite concepts or courses one should have studied before going into this course? We need knowledge of engineering mechanics, engineering graphics, then max courses namely calculus and ordinary differential equations. And also mind you, this kinematics of machinery course will be prerequisite to study many other courses namely dynamics of machines, design of machine elements, design of transmission systems. In order to thoroughly understand all the concepts of these courses, we must be having firm grip over concepts of kinematics of machines. Okay, You know that kinematics of machines course is a design paper. It is coming under design domain as you could see here. We have to understand that this course is called by the name theory of machines, mechanics of machines. This theory of machines or mechanics of machines has two branches, namely kinematics of machines and dynamics of machines, part one, part two, we could call that way. It is all about study of machines, right? In kinematics of machines, only the geometry of motion of machines are discussed or in other words only determination of kinematic variables namely position velocity and acceleration or angular displacement angular velocity and angular acceleration of various links of the given mechanisms are determined under kinematics of machines in kom we are not considering at all the various forces that are causing the motion of course, forces are acting, but in order to determine the kinematic variables, we need not to consider those forces right now. The dynamics of machines, on the other hand, will be talking about various forces acting on the machine members. To illustrate the difference between kinematics problem and dynamics problem, let us take a classical IC engine. This is a typical skeleton diagram of the machine which we call it as a mechanism. So here the various links of the mechanisms are piston, connecting rod, crank and cylinder. If I am interested to determine velocity, acceleration and the position of the piston at any given point of time without considering the various forces acting on an IC engine, then that study is known as kinematics problem. For the same IC engine, if I would like to know during the power stroke, what is the thrust exerted on the piston head? What will be the inertia force acting on the piston? What will be the weight of the connecting rod acting? If all these forces are to be determined, then we can call it as a dynamics of machines problem. Okay. As you are aware, the kinematics of machines has two terms. One is kinematics, another one is machines. As we have already discussed, kinematics is the geometry of motion. Let us try to define or understand the term machine. Machine is a device for transmitting and transforming both motion and force from the source input to the load or output or application. So a machine is required to transform one form of available type of input motion into the desired type of output motion. To better understand, I have listed here the various types of possible input or output motion. Input or output motion can be rotatory motion. It can be of continuous rotational motion or intermittent rotational motion where rotation is not continuous it is intermittent the second type i call it as a rectilinear motion or 
translation motion. So input or output can be translational motion. The third type we call it as a to and fro motion or we call it as a oscillatory motion. Oscillatory motions again can be of two types. One is linear oscillatory motion which we call it as a reciprocating motion. The other one is an angular acceleratory motion as in case of wiper mechanism used in our cars or buses. Let me explain you further. Assume the type 1. Let input motion be a continuous rotational motion whereas output motion is a translation motion. The typical example is a rack and pinion where the pinion gives the continuous rotational motion whereas the rack will have translation motion and vice versa where rack can act as a input motion pinion can be my required output motion the second case where input motion is rotational whereas output motion is oscillation reciprocating motion as in case of reciprocating pumps my motor use the continuous rotation of the crank which is converted into reciprocating motion of the piston which is the typical example for this type 2. In type 3 I have a continuous rotational motion but the required output motion is angular oscillation motion. As you could see this is known as oscillating cam follower mechanism where continuously rotating element is a cam which produces oscillating motion of the follower. So here you need to think of types of input motion and the type of output motion, how it is converted. Something is required to do that, which is nothing but mechanism. The fourth type, both can be of continuous rotational motion, maybe of different speeds. You know that we have been using gears, gear trains, even belt drives with various diameters of the pulleys in order to obtain different speeds. Finally, I could say some cases where input motion will be a continuous rotational motion, whereas the output motion will not be continuous. Instead, the output motion will be intermittent rotational motion. This mechanism is a typical Geneva mechanism. From this, it is clear that we need to design many mechanisms depending upon the available input motion and the required output motion, right? Now let me present the overview of this course. What are the various topics that we are going to cover or study under this course? Various universities of India cover predominantly the following topics. In the module one, basics of mechanisms will be covered. Then kinematic analysis of linkage mechanisms will be presented. Kinematics of cam mechanisms. Kinematics of gears and gear trains. Then study about belt and rope drives and about brakes and clutches. And finally, synthesis of mechanisms. These are the broader domain that are going to be covered under this course. Just to start with in the module one, the basic kinematic concepts definitions will be given. For a given mechanism, how to determine degrees of freedom, then the concept of kinematic inversions of four bar and slider crank mechanisms will be dealt in this course. For example, as you could see, that is a rotary engine and also a hand pump. These two are kinematic inversions of a slider crank mechanism. Then we have a beam engine, which is nothing but a kinematic inversion of a four bar mechanism. The other concepts such as mechanical advantage, transmission angle and various mechanisms such as quick return mechanism, straight line generator, intermittent motion mechanisms are covered under this module. 
the second module for a any given mechanism we will be determining velocity and acceleration of various links of that mechanism as you could see here uh, we have a ic engine which in fact uses slider crank mechanism on the right hand side we have velocity diagram and acceleration diagram by using which we can find kinematic variables of various links of the given mechanism so there are various methods used namely relative velocity method relative acceleration method instantaneous center method Klein's construction method and of course analytical method and also for special cases we need to determine the Coriolis component of acceleration as well these topics we covered in this module 2 so we have a special mechanism name as cam and follower as you could see here in IC engine in order to operate the inlet and exhaust walls we need such mechanisms so cams are being used for various purposes in industries there are various types of cams and followers available the selection of appropriate cam follower depending upon the motion requirements will be studied in this module and also how to draw the cam profile for a given motion requirement will also be studied in the fourth module we'll be talking about kinematics of gears and gear trains for a given requirement the selection of the right gear and gear trains will be covered in this course we use gears and gear trains to obtain the desired gear speeds at the application end also various types of gear trains simple gear trains compound gear trains reverted gear trains and epicyclic gear trains all will be covered in this course in module 5 we will discuss about various friction drives namely flat bill drive v bill drive chain drives and friction clutches in that there are various types single plate multi plate cone and centrifugal clutches then finally study of brakes which involves different types block brakes band brakes band and block brakes and so on another very important module of this course is synthesis of mechanism it involves the design of various parts of a machine concerning its shape and size materials to be used the arrangements of parts so that the resulting machine can perform the desired tasks there are three stages of kinematic synthesis in type synthesis the selection of right type of mechanism to be applied for a given application will be discussed then number synthesis in which the number of links and joints that are to be used in a mechanism will be discussed or in the third stage of dimensional synthesis the dimensions of parts that is lengths and angles so as to accomplish specified task and desired motion characteristics will be studied this synthesis problems can be of broadly three types one is function generation path generation and motion generation in the function generation the motion of input link is correlated to the motion of output link how to solve such kind of a problem will be dealt in this module in path generation a point on the coupler link is constrained to describe a path with reference to the fixed frame so all the various methods used for calculation or designing of path generations will be discussed in this course in motion generation a mechanism is designed to guide a rigid body in a prescribed path yes these are the various domains that we are going to cover in this course kinematics of machines if students are asking the recommendation for a textbook for this course i would say for an international author obviously theory of machines by shigley and wicker will be the best read if you want Indian author, you could very well study Theory of Machines by S.S. Rathen. I am humbled to share with you that I have also authored a, a book compiling uh, 20 years of university problems of various universities into a book, Kinematics of Machinery. So predominantly, 
in all my forthcoming lecture videos i will be taking problems from my textbook kinematics of machinery by dr v jayakumar these are the key takeaways from this video lecture which should be useful from both subject and examination point of view that's it hope this video helped you if so support the work by liking this video sharing it to your friends subscribing the channel and hitting notification bell icon thanks for watching take care bye